Now, let me tell you something, guys. Maybe this one will uh, uh, brush uh, shoulders with some people, but saving money for your retirement is a waste of time. Saving money so that once you retire, you're going to rejoice. It's a waste of time. Insurances are always running after you. Oh, save with us. Save with us for your uh, retirement plan, retirement plan, NSSF, and all these kind of things. Governments are running after you to save. But have you ever asked yourself, rich people do not even actually save that. They create investments. At the end of the day, only people who do not think are the only ones who are rushing to go and put their money in banks. You go and put your money in the bank, it stays there, they make as much money as they can be able to make. They become billionaires and you're all over looking at them on the TVs and uh, celebrating them and saying, oh, this is the businessman of the year. But you yourself, you're broke. You do not even understand yourself. Come to think of it. Come to think of it. In life, there's always three choices, three options that you have. Uh, from zero to 25 years, you have three choices. You have three things, okay? Number one, zero to 25 years, you have the energy. You have the energy, right? Uh, because you're still young. And number two, you also have the time because you, you, you don't have much um, on your neck. But then you're always lacking one thing. You lack the money. From zero to 25 years, you lack the money because you're broke, you're not yet working, and so forth. But then from zero to 75 years when you retire supposedly you also have three things number one you have um, you you now have the money because you're working remember okay and now you have the energy because you're still young but then you lack one thing you lack time you're so busy running after this and that and this and that and this and that so you don't have time within yourself and i'm going to tell you it's time for what then after 75 years Till you die, maybe 80 or if you're gracious enough, whatever years, eh? two, three, five years eh? before you die. You also have three things. Now you have the time because you've just retired. Thank God. Okay. And then you have the money probably because you saved a few uh, coins here and there. But then you lack energy. You cannot celebrate all these things that you saved for. You're eating, uh, you know, you can only eat some greens because the doctor told you, don't touch meat. <laughs> you can go for a holiday. You can go mountain uh, climbing. You can't do anything. You have the money, yes, but you're useless. You're a cabbage. Now, tell me at the end of the day, what have you benefited? And most of the life that we spent wasting and trying to think about a far future are during the times that you have the energy. My friend, what you need right now is energy. Energy to think, energy to work, energy to do things. And as you create the money, eat that money. Enjoy yourself. Go to the places you've never gone. Do things that you've never done. What is the essence of you living 75 miserable years so that you can rejoice is only five years? And then it's not even rejoicing. You are just sitting there with your money in your bank account while your children are changing your diapers. What is the essence of all that? For me, I usually don't see the essence of, oh, let's save in this, uh, uh, this insurance company. It will save us for the future. Don't you have a way that you yourself can save for yourself? And the best way to save is to create a business. Create a small business, even if you're selling oranges or bananas or whatever thing that you're doing. Probably, who knows, you're going to be the supply in the area. And, that, and a business, you can always leave to your children. But most people, they go and get jobs. They be employed. And you'll be at your work all your life, saving for the future, so that when you're old, there's some NSSF which will care for you. Do you know governments even never give that money? And if they give you, they give you peanuts, 6K. What are you going to do with 6K? 7k 10k what are you going to do with it is it it's just going to be for buying your you know terminal disease uh, drugs because you have diabetes you have everything all the diseases are uh, have been planted on you that they just know that hey they come on we just want you to have a better death at the end of the day waste of time enjoy your time when you still have uh, the energy and remember Everything is vanity at the end of the day. And if you will not create your own business, 
my friend all those degrees that you'll work you have and everything they'll be useless to you think about safaricom for example do you remember bob colimo the guy who was in safaricom what happened to him he was a rich man earning good pay good salary very nice educated and all that now tell me did he leave those papers to his children did he leave the degrees or that job position to his children no he went with it but think about someone like um talk about chris kirubi or some other people who established businesses what happened after they died they left the businesses and the fortunes to their children that is wisdom you you are there lying to yourself that oh i'm a neurosurgeon i'm this i'm this i have a good job you will <laughs> you will die with your job and at the end of the day what are you going to benefit what are you going to gain from this you know, the best way of putting wisdom is putting it in something tangible. And even if you're doing, you're saving for the future, the future is always today. You know, for me, I always say, uh, have three ways of saving to the, for the future. Have the, the money that you, you know, you'll pay your bills, maybe like um, things to do with uh, between now and one month. You have some money for that. And maybe you have a plan for about the next six months or one year. And the other... The other plan that you should have is not more than five years. Think about just now. Don't think about too far. Who told you you'll reach 70 years? Who told you you'll be there to watch your children, children, and all that? It's a waste of time. Think of now. And for those people who think, I'll accumulate a lot of money so that I can, I can, uh, I can give it to my children. Well, accumulating to give it to your children is good, but give them a head start. Enjoy the other money, my friend. Do not be fooled that, oh, I'm putting all these resources for my children so that for them they will not struggle. Are you, are you giving birth to cripples? Are you giving birth to, to, to people who are blind, who cannot work? They don't have limbs. You, let your children work for their own money. Eat your own money. Enjoy your own time because this life that you live is vanity. Everything is vexation of the spirit. At the end of the day, you're just getting tired and avoid those uh, insurance companies who are always coming with those stories. Oh, you know, start investing now for your children. By the time they are this and this and this, you will get this and this and this. Waste of time. You go and put all your millions or hundreds of thousands into a company. They use that money and they go and build houses and they build businesses and they make profit. And they come and give you peanuts and tell you, okay, this is it. It's just like when you have a car accident or something. By the time they, 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 that company pays you, they will have done all due diligence to make sure that is there a loophole that we cannot pay this guy. Because their essence is just to make sure that they'll never pay you. Even those NSSFs, how many times do you think people are always chasing after the guy? Oh, please, we need this. It was just introduced the other day to calm down people. All right? And you see... There are still so many scams. This one has stolen this amount of money. This one has stolen that. The only thing you can do to yourself is enjoy what you have. Enjoy what you have. Work hard. Play hard. Do whatever you can. Because this is the time that you have. And they help those who are in need. And remember, whatever you do to others, they will also do it to you. So if you freeze your money and you freeze it from your friends, from other people, then they'll also freeze theirs. At the end of the day, if we all release what we have, and we live the way the life is supposed to be. Depressions will be very less. People will not be uh, thinking of, okay, I want to gain this. Because mo most of the people stealing all this wealth and hiding it overseas. Even their wives, they don't know where that. Look at the politicians. They hide their money overseas. Even themselves, they'll never use that money. Why? Because at the end of the day, they leave, they, they pretend, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm this good guy, but I'm hiding all that money there. And the end result is what? They die, and that money, nobody even knows where it is. And that's the end of it. What was the essence of having all that money? And you never spend a dime on it. So anyway, wake up. And remember, your retirement future should be now, not that time.